Hi, I'd like to welcome you to Spring in Wisconsin. We are on the eve of the first day of spring, tomorrow. And um, it, things are really looking up here. Uh, today, uh, the temperature is 36 degrees warmer than the wind chill of two days ago. So spring is really coming, coming in. I mean, it was a frosty 35 below uh, wind chill two days ago. Today, can you believe it? It's up to four degrees. I mean, we're we're ready for we're ready for summer. It's it's fabulous. So so anyway, I'd like to talk to you about trends for 2014. So we've had the Christmas season, and uh, then we had our our big trip to Miami for the biggest shows in the country, sort of the world, and then we came back and did some Midwest shows. Okay, so trends that we saw were that continuing in the last few years, Russian and Chinese items, any type, silver, textiles, porcelain, they're hot. Prices are zooming. There's intense competition for all those items. Okay, in general, rare and desirable items are hard to find and expensive and selling very, very well. Expensive items, as I say, are selling very, very well. We are finding the middle ground is doing okay too. Another trend that we see, we did the shows in New York and along the East Coast. People seem to be buying, but they're very hesitant. And, um, you know, they don't seem eager. That's different than in the central part of the country. In the Midwest, people have had this really horrible winter and they've been cooped up, they want to do things, they're really attending the shows, they're eager buyers, um, they seem to um, be in a really good mood for, for buying all types of antiques, and I think things in general. Okay, so buying highlights from the trip. Okay, one of my favorite things that we bought was a Heisen by Gorham 1880s game set. It had 12 forks and 12 knives with a Japanese figure in gold clothing on the handles and it had these three-dimensional elk on the handles also. They were really cool. They sold almost immediately. Another one of the things that I bought was an English King seven piece tea set. I've never had one before. Uh, the trays are very rare. And so, um, you know, that was quite a find. It was from a home in Naples. Again, it sold very quickly. Okay, another thing that I really liked that we bought was this San Lorenzo set. It's got its own Tiffany box. It consists of about 400 pieces. It's got a lot of unusual things like fruit forks and game forks and game knives and terrapin forks and ice cream forks. Never saw master salt spoons, um, pepper shakers and salt dips in this pattern. Um, the other interesting and neat thing about this set is that in gold, uh, they've written the name of all the pieces by the corresponding slot. This will take some work getting it all redone, but in time, it will be a really nice set. Years ago, we used to say, um, you know, these sort of deco sets were not as good as Chrysanthemum and English King, etc. They still haven't reached that level, uh, but there are a lot more customers these days for these sets. So, in short, you know, it was 
a very promising start to the new year. We bought well over a thousand pieces of flatware on the trip. Uh, we bought a, a nice amount of hollowware. I bought um, a big punch set with um, 24 cups, a punch bowl, and a couple trays. I bought another beautiful punch bowl. I bought a lot of antique Gorham and Tiffany hollowware. And, um, you know, so we bought those things, but we sold a lot more. We sold a, a lot of silver on the trip, and um, it's a very promising start to 2014. Thanks.